Welcome back everyone. I had just posted a video on logical volume manager and mounting a logical volume in Linux and LVM is normally used in Linux. Windows you know, doesn't support it. It can't read it. And I don't know a really very good way to um, support it in Windows. Uh, in Linux, because everything's built in, you can just use a normal kind of Linux system with um, basically the drivers installed and you're good to go. With Windows, since it doesn't really support that and I don't see a way to support it. I reached out to a group called Arsenal Recon and they have a tool called Arsenal Image Mounter. And I've heard a lot about this tool. I think I used it one time a long time ago. And um, I remember that you could basically mount forensic disk images and then run them essentially in a virtual machine or mount them as like local devices. So I contacted them and I said, hey, do you support LVM? And they said, we don't, but that seems easy enough to do. And then a couple days later, they sent me an update to their Arsenal image mounter. Uh, so I just thought I would talk about it because they got LVM working and it seems like the easiest possible way to get logical volume manager support if your forensic workstation is a Windows system. So arsenalrecon.com. So we can go to downloads, we can go to Arsenal Image Mounter. Current version is 3.6, but I think the LVM support will come out in 3.9. And then if you just click download, it'll take you directly to a download link. And they do have kind of a free version that has um, features restricted. And then they have a paid version, which is like pro and you get all the features. I'm not sure if the LVM support is gonna be in the free or the pro version, but just to know it is out there and I will show you kind of how it works. So Arsenal Recon, go check out some of their tools. Um, I'm using the Arsenal Image Mounter, um, and then it, the version I'm gonna show is 3.9. Arsenal Image Mounter, and then we open up uh, Arsenal Image Mounter EXE. Okay, so the interface is very simple. Basically, we would just want to mount a disk image. Um, they have support for all different types of things. If you are in Windows, you can do things with BitLocker, and uh, they have a lot of advanced features. We're just talking about mounting a disk image first. Uh, we have our Africa CTF week one, and then this is our Linux forensic disk image in expert witness format that has a uh, LVM partition. Click open. And then you have the options uh, how you want to mount the disk. So what we want to choose, because Windows does not support LVM directly, like the Windows uh, software that's built in doesn't support LVM and it doesn't support Linux partition types or file systems, we need to bypass all of the Windows drivers essentially. So we need to select the Windows file system driver bypass, which is exactly what we need whenever we're dealing with a Linux uh, system here. So then whenever we select that, a lot of other options are, are cut out. Again, the Arsenal image mounter is very powerful and there's a couple different ways that you can attach to the data depending on what your issues are. Since we have a Linux system, I'm going to choose the Windows file system driver bypass read only. Click OK. And then that's the only option. Now it's going through. The mount point is E drive. And we have partition two. Just a little bit of information about it. And the partition it was mounted was 18 gig, which I know is our root partition here. Okay, so now if I just go into my system. Uh, we now have this new no-name E drive, and if I click on it, then we have boot, dev, etc., home. So if I go into home, I should see the user's profile. Yep, and then there is the um, username that I know was for this suspect Im disk image. So I am accessing on my E drive, mounted E drive right now, an EXT4 partition running through LVM on Windows. So it's just amazing. So I can't believe that they actually got this working really quickly. Um, I just came to them and said, hey, we have this disk. LVM is really common in uh, a Linux file system. Can you support that? And they said, yeah, sure. And then they basically just rolled us a new version for that. So I guess really great support and uh, it's a really interesting solution. So now if you're running, for example, autopsy or any of your forensic tools in Windows, um, then you can just mount up this logical volume and then add files from a folder. Uh, Autopsy, for example, has the option to add files from folder. So now you can just select the E drive uh, inside Autopsy and then it will run through just like a normal disk image and process all of that. So you basically get EXT4 support and LVM support inside Windows. Just awesome. So this is really the only way that I know to do it and by far the easiest way to, that I know to do it in Windows. In a previous video, I showed how to do it in Linux. It's also you know fairly straightforward if you're used to using the command line, 
but you know most people are already on Windows, so I wanted to try to find some way to do it on Windows, and Arsenal Recon really had the best solution that I've seen so far. So uh, if you know another way to do it in Windows, please let me know. So that's how you to use Arsenal Image Mounter to get access to an LVM EXT4 suspect disk image partition in Windows. Hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.